The recession starts in 14 days. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your Steiner coffee and probably add a bit of rum into it because we're going to need it for this one. Let's have a look at this article written by Jason Murphy in news.com.au. He's discussing, well, job seeker and job keeper cuts. So we're actually going to start seeing some of these government support mechanisms peel back or step back. We're going to start seeing the beginnings of an actual recession because we actually haven't haven't really experienced it yet, guys. We haven't experienced it yet. Back in the recession Australia had to have, the government didn't have all these massive stimulus packages. There weren't these things, mortgage holidays. I think there are a lot of people that went through some tough times that probably, well, could share a lot about what is going to happen and how ill-prepared people actually are. So let's have a look at what he's written here. Job seeker and job keeper are ending. Will reveal a massive recession crisis. Well, yeah, it'll it will reveal the recession, everyone. It will reveal the recession. I'm just looking here. I'll bring up. I will bring up trading economics to show everyone my favorite chart at the moment. Sadly, which is our GDP chart. We'll jump to the Australian indicators. And we can just see. We can just see. I mean, there's that seven percent fall in GDP growth rate. We'll just bring out that chart to maximum data. I mean, I don't really need to say anything, do I? This is why when I see this, all the predictions are making about property being fine, job unemployment only going up to what, you know, 7.8% or 10% seems just ludicrous. It really does, because this is, this is not happening in living memory, everyone. So in just 14 days time, Hundreds of thousands of Australians will have their weekly earnings slashed and then the real financial pain will begin. I'm really hoping people have prepared. Do you think they have? Do you think they have? The most important graph in Australia right now is this one here. This is government be benefits. This is wages and salaries. Have a look at that. All that red. It comes from the Commonwealth Bank of Australia and it shows how much more money Australians are making than the year before. It's a lot. We're flying. This is why some people are better off. They're better off than they were before. Some people are better off with the current state of things. It just shows you how bad wages have been. How wage growth is just atrocious. The black line is now at 16%, which means we're making 16% more money in 2020 than last year. We're actually ahead. We're actually ahead with 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 this chart right here. I need to get another camera so you can see me pointing at stuff. This chart right here, guys. Look, look at this. Look, look at that. We're ahead in 2020. That's not normal. Think about it like this. Australians who were banking 1000 per week last year are banking on average 1160 bucks now. That's a lot of extra money each week. Where's the cash coming from? Up until the start of the pandemic, the black line was being held up by the blue bars, earning from work, salary and wages. We were 4 to 5% richer than the year before because more wages were being paid. Then the pandemic starts. The blue bars turned slightly negative. Wages and salaries went down. They would have gone down even more if not for JobKeeper. But the red bars shoot up. That's Treasurer Josh Frydenberg turning on the money taps. JobSeeker is the big one. And the two $750 payments that went to pensioners. The surprising thing is, the government payments are so big, they're enough to actually increase the amount of money being earned by Australians on average. What does that tell you about Australia, guys? That makes this a very surprising recession. Normally in a recession, people get poorer, not this time. So far anyway. That's why this graph is so vital to understand right now because the those government payments have expiry dates and we're about to hit them. The two $750 payments are done and dusted for starters. Then there is JobSeeker. That's the payment we used to call the doll. It was doubled back in March via a 
coronavirus supplement of 550 a fortnight. That will go on for just one more fortnight before adjusting to 250 a fortnight. So people are going to lose 300 bucks a fortnight. Thousands of Aussies will see their fortnightly income fall by $300 on September 24. Job seeker will also be means tested from that date, so people with a lot of wealth won't be eligible. They'll be booted off the payment. When that happens, the overall income of Australians will fall for the first time this recession, and it might start to really feel like a recession on September 24th. Because for some people, it hasn't felt like a recession. There's still been economic activity. And we're seeing here, people are better off. People are better off. That's, that's a really sad thing. It doesn't help that just four days later on September 28th, the JobKeeper payment will also change. Not only will it get smaller, 1200 a week instead of 1500 and reduced to 750 for part-timers, far fewer businesses will qualify for it. People will no doubt be let go by their employers once JobKeeper stops. So at the end of this month, we'll start to see all of these things rolling in. Businesses are going to shut down. We'll start to see some insolvencies appear or businesses just cut people. Because they have to, guys. They have to. If there's no work, there's no money to be earned. They're just running the job keeper because Centrelink probably couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle the numbers. All the people turning up, living paycheck to paycheck. All of this is happening while Victoria is still struggling to get the virus under control and retailers are forbidden from opening their stores to the public. The government is obviously a bit worried about September. And it has, at the last minute, decided to delay another dangerous rule change. Since March, oh yeah, this 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 just this rule just terrifies me. This is the real thing that really worries me. Since March, companies have been able to run up debts and not repay them. Normally, doing doing that would be enough to make a business go broke. But this year, to try to keep businesses alive, the government relaxed all the rules. They changed the rules. You know, you can't. You can, you can't chase someone. You can't, you know, push for someone's bankruptcy unless they they owe you twenty grand, and then they got six months to respond. Six months. So maybe you've got payment on delivery, or you know, payment within a week. They just ignore it and won't pay you for six months. How, what's that going to do to business confidence? Who the hell is going to do business with people like that? Do people not understand what this entails? It scares me beyond end. That's the one I'm really worried about. A business could run up more debts and not repay them for longer without the law getting involved. This was due to snap back in September 2, but now it's been extended till December 31. Yeah, that's it. That will provide welcome relief in September. Well, no, it, it's not. It's just going to kick the can down the road. It's, it's, it's insane that they've done this. It's going to screw anyone who's giving credit to some of these businesses. Many people have already have lost jobs already. The street near my house is already full of vacant shop fronts. But for many people, it hasn't really felt like a recession yet. House prices have remained remarkably steady. The stock market has bounced and spending in major retailers has been strong. JB Hi-Fi is making a mozza. That could all change in just two weeks. These sudden... Sh shrinkages in these government payments will make the graph look very different as income suddenly fall and we could be experiencing a much more grim mood on the way into christmas so i mean there you have it guys so this month by the 28th it'll all be in trouble we'll start to see as they're attempting to siphon people off this government handouts and this government you know the sugar dose that the government is providing to the economy What do you reckon? Do you think we'll really start to see the recession? Will unemployment creep up? What are your plans for the end of the month? Are you curtailing your spending and just finding ways to save money and just stock up just in case? As always, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe to the, subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and want to support us, there are a few ways you can. You can join the channel on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or KuCoin. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. 
Take care, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.